What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I have some, well, big news. It really is massive news for how loot will change within Destiny 2. But before we get into the video guys, if you do enjoy it, leaving a like is much much appreciated on my behalf now this comes from our website called mashable uk which will be linked in the video description if you do want to check it out now that's your title to this post is called the destiny 2 loot grind is no longer a slot machine now you kind of get where this is going just on that statement right there okay so we're going to get straight into what they state the original game's loot grind delivered lottery like thrills at a regular pace you tackle some in-game challenge and then nervously peer at the gear drops and the randomized perks attached to it that help set two versions of the same item apart. That no longer is the case for the upcoming sequel out for PC, PlayStation, Xbox One on September 6th, even though it's not out for PC on September 6th, but yeah. There aren't random rolls on weapons anymore. Better Devils is a crucible hand cannon in Destiny 2, and what it has on it is what it has on it, period. Luke Smith, the sequel's director, said. The lineup of stats and perks for every weapon and every piece of armor in Destiny 2 is now handcrafted. That means Bungie's sandbox team, which generally takes the lead on weapon balance changes, has a lot more flexibility when it's time to change things around. You can look at all the hand cannons now, for example, and track the data for everything, Luke Smith said. Bungie faced a balancing dilemma in the original Destiny. If one particular legendary, let's say for example the popular Cryptic Dragon uh, scout rifle, was unbalanced in some way, stat changes could only be applied across the full category of scout rifles. The handcrafted nature of Destiny 2's arsenal means every piece of gear is its own category in a sense. A Bungie designer can call up a singular legendary and tweak its stats, a seemingly small thing but one that promises to change up the notion of how gear is balanced in the coming sequel. It's going to give us more flexibility to do per item tuning, Luke Smith said. That's something we haven't had before because of the way we were building the first game. This added flexibility is great, but there's just one problem. With Destiny 2's much larger arsenal, handcrafted gear means the lottery vibe I mentioned at the outset also goes away. It's hard to get excited about getting another Better Devils when it's going to have the same stats and perks as your first one. How can my second, third and tenth Better Devils hand cannon be interesting? That's a question we should all be asking and answering as quickly as we can, Luke Smith said. We have ideas. While I would like nothing more than to share those ideas with you guys, we're up against a deadline. I don't know if they'll make it for September 6th release date, but we have some ideas that we're pretty excited about. Again guys, thanks to Mashable UK for the actual info. So we've learned something new today. Weapons and armors within Destiny 2 will be set to their specific stat role. Every one hand cannon now will have that same role. There is not going to be two different roles for the same hand cannon, which is kind of a shame. That is completely different to how we know of weapons and armors within Destiny 1. Two IOS Lunas could be at completely opposite ends of the table, one being garbage because of its role and the other one being the best weapon in the game because of its role. That, my friends, is no more within Destiny 2 and the way weapons and armors will work. Which I just don't know how to feel about. I don't actually know how to feel about this. That is absolute craziness, it really is. It's a massive, massive change, which I can't wait to learn more about. I really can't. But what do you think about this down below in that comment section? Again, if you're unsure about what I mean and what this actual post means by Mashable UK, it basically means that every single weapon within this game will be limited to a single role. No one hand cannon in this game will have two separate stat roles. Something new we learn about Destiny 2 every single day. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I can actually see good and bad sides to this. I am just hoping that they work this right. And there needs to be an absolute massive arsenal of weapons within this game. This also leads me to believe people that there's going to be a lot of reskinned weapons. Exactly the same weapons with different colours and different stats and different names. Which to be honest wouldn't be too different to how we'd see an IS Lunar is now. One with a garbage roll and one with a perfect roll. It's basically two different weapons. If it was to have a different name, who would really care? And that's the question you must ask yourselves if you're doubting Bungie's new system of loot within Destiny 2. And on that note, people, I'm going to end the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we 
understand But you and I will carry on You never get it right